Um, I don't perform now like I did when I was 25. Uh, I'm quite a bit older than that, <laughs> but I, I still perform. And anytime you take, I'll say an older person, I'll say my age or older, and I'll say I'm in my 50s, okay? When you're out there working and doing your technique, even if it's not hard and strong, you're doing movement, you're, any type of exercise is good for the body. Okay. So, so it's never, but I might teach, I would teach Dave one way, and I teach his dad a different way. And I teach Dave some things that I don't teach his dad because a man and certain things he can do because of his age exactly. that some people can't do. Did, okay. you, did, you, did your dad start out taking lessons with you when you started, or was he already into it? Or um, He had done it many, many years before I was born, and uh, he started the year after I did. He said, if, he said if I can do it, he can do it too. <laughs> cool. so, uh, so he got into it after about a year I did. His dad has been very dedicated. I would definitely say very dedicated, and he gives you 100% every day. And it's very good to see adults do that. It's very good to see kids. We have some good kids that do that also. And you, you mentioned, I think you did, one of you did, about the karate belt. Somebody's a black belt, somebody's a brown belt. Sure. What's the progression in, in okay. the... Every school is, most schools are very similar, but some schools are a little bit different. Um, yeah, and it's not that one school is right, one school is wrong, but most of your Okinawan karate schools and the Japanese, and most schools in general, under 12 belts that you do. If you're in a good school, um, well, I'll tell you two things. If you're in a good school, you know, a good traditional school or, or a good American school that does good karate, it should, your, your first five should be somewhere between two and three months between each belt. Uh, in my school, it takes three months minimum. Uh, then when you get intermediate, usually it takes a little longer. And then brown belt, it usually takes a little longer. But a good school, three and a half years, it's going to take you three and a half good years to get a black belt. Uh, I tell parents all the time, if you go to school and they say you're going to get a black belt in 16 months, um, check out some other schools. Simply for this reason. Karate is just like school. If my child, who is now grown, but if my child goes to preschool and then goes to primary school, then they have elementary school, then they have middle school, then they have high school, right. then they're in college. Well, you can't do that in six years. It takes you 12, 13 years right. to get through. And karate is like that. A good school that's teaching good foundation and good karate, it takes a while to get through it. So when you're looking for a school, parents should look for one that's not going to promote real, you know, really, really quick. But the earlier belts are a little quicker, but everybody always wants to know, how long does it take to get a black belt? Well, that depends on the individual. Dave is exceptional, but he still took him a while because to me, as an instructor, experience is everything. So I'm going to, I don't run them through the belts, just get them a belt and right. say, I've got a black belt. When, when I promote someone to black belt, here's what I say in my mind. Let me, I say this, would I take Dave or this person, Charlie, or whoever my black belt is, would I take them with me to Okinawa, Japan, in front of my grandmaster, who is the top dog, and would I let them work out beside me and be proud of them? And if I can't say yes to that, they're not ready. And you are, simple. you are a black belt? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I noticed that in the demonstration that you were using some weapons, weapons. or appliances or weapons. weapons. Mm -hmm. what, what were they called? Um, they're called uh, tanfa. It if you look at the structure of them, it, it looks very similar to like a police nightstick. Right. And you use a set of them, and just like in normal kata and open hand form, they're used for self defense reasons and stuff like that. And those are put together to self defense, you know. Do you, what kind of equipment do you use when you're training for a competition? Um, when I'm training for a competition, I, ha I have bags, like heavy bags. Uh, I have other people to help me train. Um, I run a lot. Um, I run strength training. I, I don't lift a lot of weight. Um, I mean, you can um, push up, sit ups, all that good stuff. But mostly for equipment wise, I use like heavy bags, you know, pads, kicking shields, and other people help me, you know, get through things. Do you use weapons when you're doing the competition? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Um, tell me what the name of the karate uniform is because I've heard it said 
several different ways. A gi. It's a gi. A gi. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, one thing I'm kind of interested in is why do you shout? <laughs> okay. I'll take this one. Take that <laughs> one. <laughs> when we shout at, for kids or for new people, um, we explain a couple things real easy, but it's, it's a number of different reasons we shout. Number one is um, we've all heard the story about the man that comes down the road and it's a car laying there and somebody's strapped down. He grabs the car and gets his adrenaline pumped up because he wants to save the person who can lift the car up. When I key eye, it's called a key eye, and I expend all of my arrowed and tighten my muscles, first thing it does is pumps a lot of adrenaline into your body. If Dave is a mean person and he's attacking me, when I strike or hit him, I don't want to hit him easy. I want to totally destroy him. So when I do that, with my adrenaline is so so much, it gives me more power, number one. Number two, when I, it makes him stop for a second and just flinch. Split second of the eye, that's when I attack, and that gives me an edge. That's a quick, simple reason. That's, that's cool. Um, how many lessons do your students have a, a week, approximately, or do you? It depends. We have different levels at our school, but I, I'll tell you real quick, our basic students that's been there about a year, they usually train two days a week. They have the choice of coming three days. Um, now, like day years, day was there every day. When the dojo, when the when the the dojo means school, that's the Japanese word just means school. Right. When the door was open, he was there. You know, I pull up, he's there waiting. You have some students there every day, but the majority of students train two to three days a week. That's what they train. If you get on a two to three day weekly schedule, um, you can get into some pretty good physical fitness. Uh, your karate becomes good, and and it helps you in a lot of different ways. I think I mean I, I just think it's fascinating yeah. you know what you do and it must be now, extremely rewarding for you it is let me go back one thing okay about training now Dave went to world championship and he he got a gold medal he won in the world championship and for that he was training three to four hours a day probably five days a week sometimes six and seven days a week so he's trained a whole lot more now I'll, I'll answer a rewarding question okay yes um, I've had lots of honors and different things, but I won't get into them because to me that don't, <coughs> it doesn't mean, it, it means something, but what means a lot to me is when one of my students makes a championship or the same thing, if one of my students goes to a competition, does his very best and just, he might win one match and that's all he wins, but he give it his best and six months ago, he wouldn't even come out on the floor and look you in the eyes. That's so great. when you see the students develop into something positive, that's... I think that's wonderful. And I know that it, it is a, a team building thing. There's so many yeah. rewards in, in doing this karate. We have a little less than a minute. Okay. But I wanted to thank you both for coming on the show, for thank giving you. that wonderful thank demonstration. And David, may you have the best of luck in your future with this. And Jay, you just keep on doing what <laughs> you're doing. and. I'll we'll probably do it to the day I die. <laughs> you probably <laughs> will. I hope you all have enjoyed tonight's show. If you have any comments, please send them to our email at lynchburglivenow at aol.com. Stay tuned in. We have a lot of good stuff coming up in the future. Thank you so much. Have an excellent evening. Good night.